This is Mary Alice Dorset, a person who is most interested in the welfare of all human beings. I am the student of the late Miss Nanny Helen Burroughs, who left a message with me for the whole world. And I've been trying so hard to get it over to the people. Because as God had enlightened her to enlighten me to give to you, and hopefully she said, all of these things that I will be saying, she said them while she lived. And she said that the people would give her even standing ovations. But they did not apply what... Um, she told them, nor did they share what she had said. Uh, she has written uh, a wonderful, magnificent uh, article entitled, 12 Things the Negro Must Do for Himself and 12 Things White People Must Stop Doing to the Negro. She also said that when I talk, I must tell the people that as God uh, had Paul to study at the feet of Gamaliel, he had me to come and study at her feet. Uh, you can find uh, the 12 things over the um, internet. Often what she said that uh, the Negro must do for himself. Now, this is what she has said, and I shall be reading as much of it as I can, what the white man must stop doing to the Negro. First, stop penalizing Negroes for not being white. Color is not character. It's only a badge of distinction. Second, stop making social excursion into the Negro race, disposing and depositing white offspring and then crying out against social equality. Third, stop fighting integration in public education in the daytime and practicing social equality anytime they want to. Four, stop teaching basic untruths about the race. Five, stop trying to disprove the biblical and scientific fact that God has made a one blood all races of men to dwell on the face of the earth. The New Testament reaffirms this fact when Jesus declared, One is your master, even Christ, and all ye are brethren. All scientists are agreed that biologically, sociologically, physiologically, Ethnologically, all races are the same. Why this difference of color? This superficial difference was made by time, climate, soil, food, and environment. Men scattered and lived in different parts of the earth, and the five factors listed above accomplished incidental pigmentary differences among the races. Six. Stop minister interpreting Genesis 9, 19 through 27. The Bible does not say that God cursed Ham. It says that Noah cursed his son Ham. God did not even appear on the scene while Noah was drunk. Noah did the same kind of running off at the mouth that drunks usually do. Noah's cursing and assigning his son to everlasting servitude was about as effective as would be the cursing and assignment to servitude of any son by any father today. God has never cursed any race. Man must stop cursing and destroying any race under the pretext that he is only helping God carry out his plan and purpose. On this point, God speaks in Galatians 6, 7 without equivocation. 
be not deceived. Whatsoever man soweth, that shall he also reap. Races and nations always reap in various ways the ungodly things that they sow. 7. Stop making unjust discriminatory laws molding social sentiment against respect for human personality, building up customs, continuing outmoded attitudes in an effort to prove that the Negro is inferior. In any race, only those are inferior who do inferior things. Eight, stop putting all kinds of barriers in the way of the progress of the Negro race and then declaring that America's high purpose is to be a one nation indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Nine, stop making laws to protect the legal and civil rights of all citizens and when the rights of the Negro are involved, allow white citizens to put themselves above the law and not only deny Negroes their legal rights, but persecute and lynch them. Such acts express vicious race prejudice. Out of such acts and attitude, America can never build a Christian democracy. 10. Stop using Negroes as political mud seals and stepping stones to get where whites in power politically and then deny Negroes full citizenship rights and equal opportunities through education and employment to secure their own rightful place in the labor world and enjoy full citizenship rights, responsibilities, regards, and privileges. 11. Stop teaching race prejudice to children in order to perpetuate contempt for people who are not white and thus make segregation a permanent institution in a democracy. And 12. Stop calling this land Christian and the government thereof a democracy. The fact is brotherhood and fellowship are not the practice in many American churches. In the majority of them, Negroes are only welcome or tolerated on specially arranged occasions, and this arrangement is not for long nor frequent. Most white Christian churches and organizations export their religion through missionaries. They do keep a spurious brand for home consumption. Americanism and the attitudes of most whites are intended to keep the Negro in his place. Give him an inferior complex and do injury to his mind, spirit, and soul, and thus make him a second-class citizen. The hope and redeeming factor in race relation in America is that there is and always has been an appreciable number of whites and thank God, the number is increasing in the North and in the South, who have been just, kind, and generous. Many white people are embarrassed, hurt, and even articulate in expressing themselves and are active against injustice. But compare the total population that is active and articulate against injustice to the Negro, its fair-minded number is small. America could uh, practice the teachings of Jesus Christ in human relations and brotherhood. Justice and goodwill could be applied in education, labor, civil rights, and religion without making the white race any blacker of the black race in whiter. It is not at all necessary to further mix up and mess up the two races in order to clean up the results of the kind of ungodly social mixing 
and grave injustice that have been going on for over 300 years. America should decide once and for all to give the Negro his full citizenship rights. Those whites who make social excursion into the Negro race should stop it and send it on their own side forever. Booker T. Washington, the wisest man of his generation, put it this way, the races can be one as the hand and as separate as the fingers thereon. Write this one fact on the fly leaf of your Bible, that private mixing and then a public protest against mixing is a stench in the nostril of a just God. With political and social justice as the eternal basis, the two races working together can cooperate in building the greatest Christian democracy the world has ever seen. Miss Nanny Helen Burroughs, please that, hopefully, when she dies, for you to know that she cared so much for you, all of in the, of in the world, that she got a young woman and give her the message to give to you and to apply. Thank you. God bless each of you abundantly. Love.